Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a video, uh, another new news video, um, so it's slightly different for once. It's not just a vlog type video, it's one where I've just got a bunch of random tat really, <laughs> and all bits and pieces, uh, and that because it is the 12th of September of this recording, uh, and sort of from the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th uh, of September I was on holiday with my mum and dad and these are all the bits and pieces and things that I've picked up and bought myself so yeah uh, I got this little otter from the Sea Life Centre over in Scarborough first time I've ever been there it was really really good fun really enjoyed it really really happy uh, with the, the place and that I mean sure I, I, I agree with my mum I think the noise could have been like the background noise could have been a lot less louder but other than that everything else was really fun and that uh and i've already sort of named him Otty, uh odie even odie the odie the otter <laughs> and and that so yeah um got him and i got some little tentacle finger tentacle things which are kind of creepy and weird and really ooh, rubbery um yeah, they're weird. <laughs> so, those were the main things that I got from the gift shop, but there's something else that I did also get from Sea Life Centre. But yeah, I uh, got a pencil sharpener, even though ironically I didn't end up using it on holiday. Uh, because I was using it, because I was like doing my Rick and Morty colouring book. Um, and the thing wore like, when I, I didn't sharpen any of the pencils, so some of them were getting blunt and that. Um, and yeah, basically I have a pencil sharpener now whilst I'm at home. But now I've got another one, so yeah. <laughs> uh, some of this stuff I got also like just before my holiday as well. Um, but I just lumped uh, some of the stuff that I got just before my holiday into this video. So I don't have to do like a separate video on just one or two things. And that, and this is one of the things that I got just before my holiday. Which is Super Mario 3D Land. I picked it up um, at uh, CEX online. Uh, CX, it's a um, 2011 game, it's for 3DS, it's, it would, I, I can imagine it being really, really, really good uh, on 3DS, on the 3DS, because it is very much about perspective and, and sort of um, uh, the depth of field and almost like things coming out at you, like, you know, if the screen was 3D, then it coming out at you, because the thing is, I'm playing it currently on a new 2DS XL, or my new 2DS XL, um, so... Uh, it loses quite a bit of its charm in that respect, but then again, it is just fun anyway, and um, I pretty much started it on Monday, and it's Saturday uh, of this recording, and uh, or on Monday, Tuesday, or maybe even, no, I might have started it Tuesday, and it's Saturday, and I'm already about halfway through the game. It's quite challenging. Halfway through, it's, it's getting quite challenging. You have to probably backtrack or be a bit better at getting the coins, the big, the big uh, gold coins that kind of take up as or uh, kind of ways to open up the rest of the game or the rest of the levels and that but yeah I, I wouldn't say uh, ironically even though it's called Super Mario 3D Land and everyone's saying oh it should have been part of the 3D all-star collection thing I'd say much like 3D World 3D Land and 3D World are in my head 3.5D Mario games like like I don't think they're, obviously they're not 2D enough to be a traditional 2D Mario game, but they're not 3D enough like, say, Sunshine, Galaxy, or even Odyssey, or 64, to be, I, I don't think they're 3D enough to be part of that those that series of 3D Mario games, but they're not 2D enough to be just part of the new 2DS, uh, new, two, new Super Mario Bros. Um, game series, hence the reason why I call them, in my head anyway, in my little weird... Uh, head canon of Mario games, I call them uh, 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 3.5D Mario games, but you know, come at me if you think I'm completely mad for saying that. But um, I finally picked up a Mandalorian uh, battle pack, uh, and that which was a bit more expensive than I would have liked. <laughs> um, considering Lego wise, actual like Lego pieces wise, I can't imagine there being much, but then again, you've got to think, I guess, the reason why it's as steep as it is, is because of the minifigs, and the minifigs are quite a highly detailed new minifigs, highly detailed, and also they all they all come with capes as well, which makes them. And I think all that 
sort of stuff's printed on to the figures as well, so it's not it's not like they're just stickers are out um, and that I guess you know. Uh, or there are no stickers on the, the like little speeder and that, but yeah, um, yeah, I've been umming and ahhing about whether or not I should get this set, this little Lego set. But honestly, I think it should be about. Uh, honestly, I'd say eight ninety nine would be a better price for this. This would be a really good eight ninety nine price or set at eight ninety nine. I think, but that's just me, I guess. Um, from uh, yeah, so I got the Lego set and the pencil sharpener from like a place in Filey that was kind of like um, uh, W. H. Smith's sort of store. Uh, it wasn't W. H. Smith, but it's it was like that. Um, from the comic shop uh, slash sweetie shop called Maynards, uh, I got some sweets, obviously. Um, and that. Uh, I also got this uh, Mulan t-shirt before the the holiday as well from QWERTY which is where I normally get all of my t-shirts these days from so yeah uh, I haven't worn it yet but I'm trying it feels weird mentioning about t-shirts that I got on a, on a video but I never really do that but yeah um yeah so yeah this is the Mulan t-shirt um, I really like the design, hence the reason why I got it, but also I am a big fan of the original film, uh, and I'm curious, um, I don't, I, I'm not super ecstatically hyped for the new live action one, but I am curious how it stacks up against the original one, and whether or not I actually really like it, obviously I, I, I want to like it, I never actually go out of my way to not like things, uh, in contrast to some people on the internet, but anyway, um, what else did I get? Oh, I got a um, Fantastic Four poster, like, for a really old, sort of, really big, <laughs> really, really big poster. Sort of really old retro, sort of, um, uh, sort of original, sort of Fantastic Four artwork and that. And although I've never really liked a lot of the uh, Fantastic Four films, uh, I, I, I mean, the, the sort of early 2000 ones, 2004, five through a seven ones uh those ones were those two ones are kind of camp and cheesy and i like them for that reason but then the other one was kind of really dark and brooding and serious and kind of almost dc-esque the one that came out back in like 2016 i think um which i did watch on netflix once i can barely even remember anything that happened in it honestly it feels like i'd never even watched it i can't remember much from that film uh but basically what i will say is that that one as I say, is very much more DC-esque and dark and brooding and serious. And I think that's the problem with the Fantastic Four. As characters and all comic book characters, they're a mixture of the two, you know. They are uh, silly and, 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 and quite sort of, you know, sort of silly and, and, and stupid and silly in, in terms of the concept. But they are quite serious characters sometimes. But they also, some of the characters do have, for lack of a better term, quips and banter and that. But... Yeah, uh, comic book wise from Maynard's I got Captain Marvel issue 3 which I am thinking that I might already have this issue which I'm a bit worried about but it might just be a case of it being a variant cover I'm not sure. Hopefully that isn't the case, I would like it to be a new comic, Marvel comic to add to the collection. Um, Hawkeye, uh, again this one isn't part of Freefall which is the sort of comic series that I'm getting at the moment, uh, Hawkeye Freefall from the comic shop over in Shipley. Uh, which is the shop that I normally go to, and then Captain Marvel I also have on subscription, so again, hopefully those aren't part of the subscription that I already get. And um, also, the, the comics were only a pound each, so mainly because the woman at Maynard's isn't really getting new comics anymore, because she's having issues with the delivery, or with um, Diamond Comics and stuff, which is a shame. Uh, Star-Lord... So, yeah, um, as I say, these three Marvel comics for a pound each, which is a bargain, I think. Uh, Star-Lord Grounded, uh, and that. And then, second to last item I got, which was this sort of booklet thing, just going over the Sea Life Centre over in Scarborough and that, you know, with some really nice glossy images of... Uh, uh, da -da -da -da, of turtles and the, the sort of penguins and that. It's really cool. Uh, I haven't really read most of it, but you've got really, as I say, nice pictures of the 
penguins and whatnot. Uh, and then the last item that I got, and all thing I, as I say, got was this leather jacket, which is which I got from a charity shop, which my mum said is quite accurate or quite not too dissimilar to the one that Eccleston wore, like you know the Ninth Doctor. So, so hopefully this will be a good one for, as I say, like a sort of. Ninth Doctor esque cosplay, you know, at some point, and it's official, like, oh, not official, but it's like proper leather as well, um, and that, and that's not cheap. Normally, proper leather is really expensive, and if you can believe it, I got it for seven pound fifty in a charity shop, so in Filey. So yeah, um, a really good find, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with it, and I'm really curious to see what. I'll actually look like when I, if and when I actually like, uh, like actually wear it out and about and stuff. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, those were all the little bits and pieces that I got from, as I say, my holiday and or just before my holiday that I had and uh, on my holiday. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Please do comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, that coat and our leather jacket is fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching.